Hi there and welcome. It's Kirsten Jacko here from Four Seeds Consulting, a transformational coach who shifts people from languishing to flourishing. In this video, I want to talk to you about people trumping the business plan. In 2010, when I started my business, the advice I was given is to design a detailed business plan, working out who my market is, my clients, my pricing structure, my services, my unique selling points, all of those components. I spent a good three or four months working on fine-tuning this business plan. On reflection, I left out one key component, the people. Who were the people who are going to make this business plan come alive? I see that same process and parallel process still happening in many organizations where the focus is on the strategic objective, honoring stakeholder value or achieving deadlines and not worrying about the people. Right now, if you want to retain talent and really have a competitive edge, the lens needs to change onto your people. And two ways to do that is to increase their social capital and their psychological capital. The social capital is to help people build more interconnected relationships with each other, to help people actually have internal networks within an organization. The psychological capital is about helping people build mental stamina so that they can buffer against stress and all the change that is happening. These are two components that employees don't even see as nice to have. So they're not really something they would want the organization to produce. They actually demand it. They want their organizations to provide both of these. They want the organization to help them have more connections and build their mental stamina. Especially again, the younger generation has this need and if not fulfilled, they will very quickly leave your organization. So your people do drive your business plan. And I know not all of our tasks are fun and enjoyable. And yes, about 20 or 30% of our tasks are mandatory, routine, and we perhaps don't enjoy them. But if you really want to have your business plan come alive, have a look at these three aspects which dovetail to your people. The first one is establish how emotionally connected is somebody to a task. Does it make their sap rise or does it actually deplete it? The second one is what is one task if an employee had a wish list that they would instantaneously say yes to? What is that one task that they absolutely love doing? And thirdly, what is the one task if they could, they would give away immediately and pass on to somebody else? These three areas help you understand where the energy in your team is and how they can have more energy because energy is adaptive and obviously contagious. So if you want to have your business plan really come alive, focus on your people. Bring in the social and the psychological capital help your people to cope through training and learning, but mostly let them find energy in the tasks that they are doing. Start by having conversations with your team on the three steps I've mentioned. 
What really are tasks that they are emotionally connected to? What are tasks that they love to do? And what are tasks, if they could, they would give away? Perhaps that gives you an idea of how and if at all you can structure certain things. Thank you for watching and I look forward to connecting with you in the next one. I don't want you to miss anything, so I want to invite you to join me on social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on SoundCloud and like me on Facebook.